Hey everybody, uh, there's been some questions about how to get the 7 Days to Die launcher running. Um, so I figured I'd make something real quick here and try to show everybody how it's done. Uh, after you download it, uninstall it, or uninstall it, unzip it, and you'll uh, end up with a little icon. Double click that icon. This is what you're going to see. This is what will pop up. The particular mod that I'm running on the servers right now is War of the Walkers. If you click that, the one that I'm running is the bigger backpack. Okay, um, I've already got this one installed, so I'm going to show you how to install it using this one. Same principle, same system. Real simple. Okay, uh, first of all, I have a copy of the vanilla 7 Days to Die files. I keep that right here in the stock location that Steam sets up when you first install it. If you have a vanilla copy of it already installed, you can use this one it's a little quicker. If by chance you're already uh, modded that particular file uh, and you want to, you need a fresh copy of this, so then you download it from Steam. Fill in your information and it'll download it. Like I said, I have a cop vanilla copy already installed, so it's right here. Where it gets installed, I use my C drive underneath the uh, 7D, 2D directory. This will be added by whatever mod you're installing. Okay, so you don't have to put this in. This will already be there. The only thing you need to worry about is where you're going to put it. Okay, once you get that figured out, install mod. <clears throat> It'll take a little bit for it to install. It's a big file. So don't be surprised if you got to sit there for a little while. And we're going to sit and wait and see. I'm just going to let these run. I'm not going to edit this out just so you have some idea how long it actually takes. And feel free to fast forward through any of this if you want to. Like I said, this just gives you an idea how long it actually takes to get these, this mod or any of the mods really downloaded because they are fairly large, at least some of them are. Okay, once it's done downloading, you're going to want to hit play mod now. This will refresh the mod every time you start it. The first time I run a mod, I always leave this checked to make sure it's got the latest copy. Anytime there's a new copy, all you have to do is re-click this. It'll refresh the download for you. It'll re refresh the mod. Now, on my server with the bigger backpack, do not check the EAC. Okay, I've got EAC shut off right now. It's having a connection problem using the bigger backpack. I do not think that that is EAC capable right now, so we'll leave that off. Okay, other than that, play mod. Now, once you click that, it's going to go out because I'm refreshing it. It's going to go out to this particular directory, download the zip file. Once it's downloaded, it'll unzip it and install it and automatically start seven days to die the game itself up. Once again, this may take a little while. This is a big file. 
fact it even it'll even show on mine anyhow it'll show that it's not responding this particular program is not responding but if you leave it set it'll as long as the bar is running it's still working It's done downloading, now it's going to unzip it and start installing it. can see it starting to fire it up once again I can't say this enough this is a pretty big file it may take some of you a little longer than others to uh, get it started up so just bear with it see how it's acting right now it's because it's still it's still loading all that stuff in that's how big this file is it'll clear up in a second Okay, what we're looking for here, you're going to find my particular server under the modded servers. I've already got it highlighted and saved as a favorite on mine, but all you got to do is do a search for it. Start typing in Illinois, you'll find it, it'll pop right up. And click play. Now, I'm not going to click play right now because, like I said, I don't have the uh, standard version of the server installed. I've got the the larger backpack one installed. But that's basically how you do it. That'll load it out. There's right back to here. Exit out of it. You're done. Now, some of you may have heard me talking about my playing on Deadlight server. That's right here. If somebody's interested in learning how or wanting to play on Deadlights, uh, let me know. It's a little different to set up because I had to manually go in and put that in myself.
but it's not that hard to do and it works the same way as War of the Walkers does. You can play any of these. You can install any of these mods. Every time you install a mod, it'll be a different directory. It'll be a different copy of Seven Days to Die. It all works the same though. And each one of them is separate. So I hope that helps some of you out. If you've got any questions, just pop into Discord and give me a shout and we'll see if we can figure it out for you. See you on the server, guys.